my view about life expectancy is it's an indicator of how well we're doing as a society. And the fact that life expectancy is stalling and inequalities in life expectancy are increasing suggests that inequalities in society are increasing and that progress in society is stalled. And in the United States, I would argue the same. The fact that life expectancy has been going down for three years in a row suggests something's gone wrong with what's going on in society. And you can see it with the rise of the so-called deaths of despair due to opioid poisonings, suicide, alcohol-related causes, a steep rise, and the fewer the years of education, the steeper the rise. So the inequalities are getting bigger. The best guess is that perhaps 20% of health and health inequalities are related to inequalities in access to health care. The rest is related to the conditions in which people are born, grow, live, work and age. In other words, the social determinants of health. And they act right through the life course, from preconception through pregnancy and childbirth early child development, education, working conditions, having enough money to live on, the neighbourhoods in which you live, transport, housing, right through to the determinants of healthy behaviours. So whether you smoke or drink or the kind of diet that you have uh, is very much influenced by your social environment. ACEs are adverse child experiences data from the UK and my guess is it would be very similar in the United States but data from the UK show that the lower the socioeconomic position in society income level for example the greater the frequency of adverse child experiences parental separation parental me mental illness physical abuse of children psychological abuse sexual abuse imprisonment of a parent these are all adverse child experiences, and they're progressively more frequent the lower down you are in the income or social hierarchy. And ACEs damage early child development, and they predict adults who, as children, experienced four or more ACEs have greater likelihood of smoking, drinking, early sexual experience, teenage pregnancy, imprisonment, violent domestic abuse as a perpetrator, violent domestic abuse as a victim. So adverse child experiences change the trajectory that people are on through the life course. I had six domains of recommendations developed in the UK, but they would apply universally, give every child the best start in life. Number two, education and lifelong learning. Three, employment and working conditions. Four, now this is really radical, having enough money to live on, being able to pay the rent and buy food. Five, healthy and sustainable environments, so that includes housing, local environments and the like. And sixth, taking a social determinants approach to prevention. 